In this video, I'm going to talk about the biggest upcoming MMORPGs. The MMOs that look more on the AAA side of things in terms of scope, budget and visuals. These are the games that I expect will give everyone a solid two weeks minimum worth of playtime once released. Don't expect to see too many Kickstarter MMOs on this list as almost all of those games seem to be surrounded by uncertainty as to whether or not they will ever release. But first, a quick word from today's sponsor. A3 Still Alive is a brand new mobile MMORPG that aims to fuse with the best aspects of Battle Royale to create a unique cross-genre gameplay experience that we haven't seen before. A3 features two main game modes, the MMORPG where you level up, obtain powerful gear and progress your character, and the Battle Royale where players can earn rewards that positively impact the progression in the MMORPG. Click the link in the description below to download A3 Still Alive now. First up we've got Crimson Desert. This is the new upcoming flagship title from the Black Desert Online developer Pearl Abyss. This game was initially announced one year ago and seems to be a more PvE and story focused version of Black Desert, but apparently it will still have all the stuff that people enjoyed about BDO, such as life skilling, PvP and its top tier action combat system. I actually expect we'll start to see a lot more of Crimson Desert in 2021, as Pearl Abyss seemed to be a developer that works extremely fast when it comes to making MMOs. It only took them just over three years to make the base version of Black Desert, and they churn out content for that game rather frequently. As Crimson Desert is a Korean MMO, I fully expect the game to have a lot of pay to win slash pay for convenience aspects, but I also expect to be able to get a lot of fun out of the game as a free player, similar to the way BDO is much more playable without a big cash investment nowadays compared to when it first launched. New World is an upcoming open world MMORPG by Amazon Game Studios that's currently expected to be released in spring 2021, following quite a few delays. After playing both the alpha and beta of this game, I had a decent amount of fun with it, but there were so many fundamental game breaking issues that the delay was absolutely needed. It's kinda hard to say what New World will actually be at release. The game started out as a sandbox survival PvP MMO, but over time it seems to be transitioning into more of a standard theme park. Regardless of how it ends up, I think New World will be a game that when finished, will give at least one to two weeks of fun and get better over time with expansions and updates. As of September 2020, it was announced that Arcage 2 is in development and being led by Jake Song, the lead developer for Lineage 1 and 2 as well as Arcage. We don't know a whole lot about Arcage 2 other than there's currently over 50 developers working on it. The game is being made in Unreal Engine 5 and aims to be a true next-gen large-scale AAA MMO that's a combination of Lineage and WoW. Given Jake Song's history, I expect Arcage 2 will have an aspect of castle sieges and large-scale PvP, but also feature world bosses, lots of grinding and a long-term sense of progression. Hopefully they've learned their lesson from the fundamentally awful labour system that Arcage 1 had. As for the release date, we're currently looking at roughly 2022-2023 for this one. Ashes of Creation is probably the most highly anticipated upcoming western fantasy MMO at the moment and there's good reason for that. On paper this is one of the most ambitious MMORPGs ever attempted, second only to Star Citizen. If you've never heard of it before, Ashes of Creation is aiming to be an open world sandbox slash theme park hybrid MMO that offers content for both PvP and PvE players in the form of dungeons, raids, world bosses, sieges, open world PvP, guild vs guild, battlegrounds, player housing and so on, all tied together by the game's innovative node system in which players build up the world. 2020 has actually been a great year for Ashes of Creation and has shown significant progress over previous years with many core game systems working, people having tested the game and this project no longer seeming like a pipe dream. Ashes of Creation goes into its Alpha 1 testing phase in spring 2021 so expect to hear a lot more about it then, but realistically the game is still a solid 2 plus years out from a full release. Ashes of Creation is such a big project that it's hard to even say what this game is in this kind of short video, so if you'd like to find out more about it then check out my video, genuinely the most exciting upcoming MMORPG. 
Elyon is an upcoming Korean MMORPG that initially started out under the name Ascent Infinite Realm. This game is being developed by Blue Hole, the same people who made Terra, and was initially announced late 2017. Following a beta test in 2019, the game received some fairly negative feedback, so the developers basically went dark for a year and completely changed the game's combat and many fundamental gameplay systems, rebranding itself from Ascent Infinite Realm to Elyon. After playing Ascent Infinite Realm, these changes are definitely a good thing, as Ascent Infinite Realm kinda sucked, the combat was clunky, the flying combat was a gimmick, and I didn't really see much potential in the game. Now with the changes since the transition to Elyon, the combat looks ultra fluid and fast paced, the large scale PvP seems really nice, and it seems like a more boots on the ground fantasy experience, with a small amount of flying content rather than that being the focus of the game. Elyon goes into Korean beta in December and already has publishing deals set up for EU and NA with Kakao Games, so I expect this to be an MMO we'll see release in 2021. Star Citizen is without a doubt the most highly funded upcoming MMORPG, as well as the most ambitious. This game has been in active development for 8 years already, and still doesn't seem to be too close to a full release. Despite this, some parts of the game are playable, and you're able to walk around, check out the shooting mechanics, and fly a bunch of spaceships around. I do think Star Citizen will release one day, but with the average MMO taking 5 years to make, and this clearly being one of the most ambitious games ever attempted, I wouldn't expect to see a full release before 2023. If and when it does release though, it will be every sci-fi gamer's wet dream. Earlier in 2020, it was announced that Amazon Game Studios will be developing a new Lord of the Rings MMORPG that we initially heard rumours of back in 2018. We don't know a whole lot about this MMO other than it will be set long before the events of The Lord of the Rings, so it's essentially set in the world but the developers have a blank slate when it comes to story. Other than that we know AGS plans for the game to have a unique art style with breathtaking visuals. Even though not much is known about this game, it's safe to say with such a big IP and the manpower of Amazon Game Studios, this is intended to be a pretty huge upcoming MMO. Core Punk is one of the few upcoming MMOs on this list that you'll likely be able to play fairly soon. This is an isometric open world MMORPG that gameplay wise seems like half MOBA, half MMO. The game has stylized graphics, PvP, dungeons, crafting, gathering, quests, and all the stuff that you'd expect from an MMO. This game isn't the most high budget ambitious game on this list, but from what I've seen so far it seems to be well animated and fairly polished, so I'm actually excited in checking this one out. Expect closed beta sometime December 2020 and a release sometime in 2021. Project TL is an upcoming isometric MMORPG by NCSoft that's gone through many delays over the years. This game initially started out its life as Lineage Eternal back in 2011, but after having issues the game went through some massive changes, upgraded to Unreal Engine 4, and rebranded itself as Project TL, releasing a trailer that got people quite excited back in 2017. Three years later without a whole lot of news, and we recently got news that Project TL is aiming for a 2021 release on both PC and console according to an NCSoft infographic. No new gameplay has been released for Project TL, but with so many years of development and financial backing from NCSoft, I expect this to be a really big MMO if it does actually release. Blue Protocol is an upcoming anime, PvE and story MMORPG that I personally expect to be releasing sometime in 2021. I had the chance to play this game during its beta in April 2020, and it was actually a decent amount of fun. This is an instanced hub style game with fairly reasonable sized zones, world bosses, dungeons, quests, crafting, and a heavy focus on storytelling with cutscenes that make you feel like you're watching an actual anime. This isn't an overly ambitious MMO and it definitely won't appeal to PvP fans, but for people who are looking for a casual PvE anime MMO where you can just hang out and craft gear in a good looking world and enjoy some nice storytelling, this is a game you will most likely enjoy for a few weeks at least. But that's it for this video guys, sorry if my voice sounded off today, I recorded this with a lung infection so I was really short on breath. 
What MMOs on this list are you looking forward to the most and why? Which ones do you think will succeed and fail? Let me know in the comments below. Shout out to Netmarble for sponsoring this video, links for that in the description below, and feel free to follow me on social media. Thanks for watching, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you again really soon.